I was by myself throwing you a freaking frisbee. You didn't even tell me that. You didn't tell me that. Because I'm too pissed off about it. And then I thought, <laughs> oh, and then I'm no. like embarrassed. I didn't tell anybody. I'm trying to, this is when I was serving as a lunch lady. So I'm trying to walk <laughs> it off and I can't, mm. I can't. Mm. And I'm like, I'm like. Oh no! I'm I'm so humiliated that at 35 I can't even throw a frisbee. Like that's what thought that's going through my mind. <laughs> so, gosh, that's I'm slightly sorry. dramatic, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, it is dramatic. But so you do have a little bit of hormones going on. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 27 of Little Did I Know podcast. I am. One of the fabulous hosts of this podcast, Stephanie <laughs> Parks. I'm your other fabulous one, Shauna Zoe Mahaley. <laughs> <laughs> this is Little Did I Know, where two friends share our journeys through life, the good and the bad, while never losing our laughter. You can find all of our other 26 episodes on Little Did I Know at stephanshauna.com, where you stream all of your podcasts and what I would like to ask right now, we are doing so great of getting more likes and follows, but if by chance, listening audience, you have not taken the time to do that, we're going to wait a second. We will not start talking until you've done this, but would you go and rate five stars only, like, <laughs> subscribe, and just give a little fun little ditty about us. You know, one of us really has the words of affirmation as her love language, <laughs> so be kind, but say something nice and pretty. Okay. <laughs> Call you me know, pretty. <laughs> I think one I do think one of mine is words of affirmation. I do really? think it is. Mm-hmm. And I think I've also tried to fight it. But if I'm all like honest, I think mine's So both of us. T- so you have to be extra nice is what we're saying. Say say something very nice because one of us needs to be told she's pretty, one of us is pregnant and she needs to be told she's awesome. <laughs> Um, So I'm going to tell you, you might be coming into connection with your feelings because of your hormones. Well, I would like to think so. But I also, it's not been, I'm pretty, it hasn't been, you know. Oh, she's pregnant. (laughs) Leave her alone. (laughs) No, I wasn't saying that, but I'm just saying like sometimes it just brings out, not that you're raging or anything like that, because I don't think you are. Yeah, well, thanks. Well, you're welcome. Okay, so um, I am fun here fact, fun, a fact, fun fact, fun fact. I am, and I'm going to tell you this. <clears throat> I feel like the world will go tilted back onto its right axis after I tell you this fun fact. Okay. Okay. This has been talked about amongst a lot, a lot of people. Okay. You- you, you're setting yourself up. So I'm going to tell you, this actually may learn, lean more towards fact than fun. Oh, I'm listening. All ears. Are you ready? Are all, you ready? All ears. Okay. Scientists have finally concluded that the chicken came first, <laughs> not the egg, because the protein used to make the eggshell can only come from hens. Wow. Yes. Fun fact. Yeah. Why am I 35 years old and just now hearing this? You know, when I, how old I was, I was today years old. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I am here to tell you. Well, I can wrap that up in a bow and put it on the shelf. Were you expecting that? I never expect anything that you say. Well, <laughs> <laughs> if I had a nickel, ma'am, I know. I know. I am so aware. And you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I know. Yes. Thank you. I know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So there you go. We don't even need to discuss it anymore. I think no. the next thing we needed to know, and I'm going to look into it, I'm going to do a deep dive, is... Why the hell did that chicken cross the road? <laughs> like, let's figure that out next. 
Second <laughs> only to its existence. Shall you answer that lifelong question? What are you doing crossing the road, fool? So I'm going to figure that out. And then we will not even need to discuss it any longer. We can move on to deeper things. <laughs> so yes. I have some somewhat of an idea of next week's fun fact. Actually, you know that's not true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Maybe at some point in time. Maybe right, at some point. Right. Maybe in Ooh. season three to be continued. Yeah, tell me. Um, side note. On Mm -hmm. Fun Facts Anonymous. We're going back to Burger King Impossible Whopper. Because, you know, they're they're out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we see the the commercials all the time now at this point. Yeah. Of course, everybody says they taste like beef, probably because they're marinated in the beef juices on the grill that they're cooking in. The grill. Right. And the spatulas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Did you know, even though they are not made out of any type of animal product, it is completely plant-based. Okay. It's only 30 less calories. Than an actual Whopper. Oh, a Whopper my. is six hundred and sixty <laughs> calories for a sandwich, oh and the Impossible wow. Whopper is six hundred and thirty. Okay, that's crazy because I don't even I don't understand this whole plant based situation. I don't understand that. I want to know that a little bit better. That's crazy. <laughs> and again, I don't think vegans are going to Burger King. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't think that's a thing. But I also I also just read this, um, that McDonald's was donating for every Big Mac. McDonald's was donating like a dollar to the Children's Cancer Foundation. Burger King um said that they would not sell Whoppers that entire day that McDonald's was doing their Big Macs because they wanted all of their customers to go there for ch- for children's cancer awareness. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I thought you were going a different route with that. Nope, well, I well actually done. forgot. I might have wanted to use that for a fun fact until I found this out. But, so, you know what? I think Burger King is, they're trying real hard. They but are. you know they how I trying. feel. They're either it's going to be them or us who's going to make it to five years. I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. You, they have a better know. track record. However, they just don't. hearing that, that, I know. I might yeah. go try an impossible whopper. Would you report back? I will not. <laughs> I won't. I might do cheese fries from Taco Bell. Okay, Maybe. I won't do that. So okay. the yin and the yang. Okay, when you try the cheese fries. Report back. I will try okay. the impossible whopper. And we shall see. Okay. Do we want to say by the next podcast? Okay. I'll do that. Okay. I I, I could probably get behind that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <Eeks. laughs> I know. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, I okay. Just, yeah, I needed to, to say that, but we shall move on. And we digress we, from the impossible. We offer. are a wealth of information today. So it's sure. almost like we are... Um, NBC Nightly News, we're taking over Lester Holt's position. Sorry, sorry, Lester. Sorry, not sorry, Lester. So, you know what? Today's episode comes from the marketplace of the United States of America. Okay? It does. I, I feel like everyone can jump, have a place to jump into this conversation. Okay? And so, because we are talking about the realness of life, right? That's what all of our second Correct. season is about. Um, today, I thought I wanted to take a spin on this, okay? It actually was your idea, and I'm just kind of creating the, the um, thank you, the intro. Okay, so let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. <laughs> You want to? <laughs> <laughs> um, but let's talk about in the marketplace the season pushy. It is pushy. It is. It, it we we are in today in Kansas City, Missouri. It is October the first. I just celebrated my anniversary. I want the fall feelings. Do you want to know? It is ninety three degrees. Mm, sorry. In October. That's that's hot. And oh. I guarantee you that Costco has their Christmas stuff up. You know they do. Oh. So that's what I want to talk about is yes. this marketplace um, pushing of the seasons where we can't celebrate one without knowing the next three that are coming behind it. Okay. <laughs> like we don't know it's, already. It's happened since the beginning of time. 
And why do you want to stress me out? <laughs> like, golly, like I, I need to get through one season before I start planning my stockings. Okay. So yes. then I also thought, what if we do this? Let's talk about that. Let's just air our grievances. Let's really <laughs> maybe get a shout out to Hobby Lobby where they can slow their roll. Right. <laughs> Um, but then I was also thinking because, you know, I spend a lot of time in my car. Um, what do we do in our own personal seasons? Do you find yourself rushing out of one to get to the next season? Have you done that? Or what about have you held on real tight to one without with knowing that God's actually moving you into another season? Like, so let's kind of go. We're going to go marketplace and then we're going to go introspective. Okay. My my mom always says she calls her um, hot flashes personal summers. Okay. So we're not talking about that type of personal Mm -mm. season. Mm -mm. No, (laughs) no, because... (laughs) Oh my, no. And, um, mama's woman, I'm so sorry. I know. Cause I feel like I'm having those a little bit at night sometimes now. I don't know. I you don't know, like it'd it. be the dead of winter um, in Indiana and my mom's open the window with her shirt up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's like, is it hot in here? Or is it just me? <laughs> so I've been oh, having the these things I get to look forward to. I just got up the other morning and Tate was already in the kitchen. She goes, your hair is so curly. I was like, Tate, listen, I had a hot flash in the middle of the night. I know. Like the back of my hair was like tight curls. And I was like, first of all, wow. And then second of all, I had to wash my hair and you know, I didn't like that. Um, so yeah, I get it. But no, 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 okay, no. Redirect, We're redirect. not going to talk about gotcha. those. I think we can talk about a, a pregnancy and a menopause <laughs> episode <laughs> combined into Oh, one. maybe we just thought of our next topic. And then we can sell it to the masses and they'll just put us on the road. They're okay. going to be like, write a book about it. You guys are funny. Um, okay. So let's start in with what is your take? How do you navigate this whole marketplace extravaganza of season. <laughs> Listen, I am such a lover of Christmas. I talked okay. about it because of my grandma last year or last week and just how special she made Christmas season. So right. it's like, it's not that I hate seeing Christmas stuff up because I get this inner joy within me that never relinquishes and I love. Yeah. However, I have to, like, set my own little boundaries in and of itself to be like, look, the start of the football season to me means the start of fall. So normally that means I sit down and I watch my bears and have a pumpkin porter beer. That's how I celebrate the opening of the season. Oh, I didn't know that about you. Couldn't have that this year, but however, that's normally what I do. Okay, right, you couldn't, right, yep. yep. But I would, I also love, obviously, as does the rest of the entire country, slash Mm -hmm. world pumpkin spice lattes everybody loves them and i feel Mm -hmm. starbucks is also getting pushy as they keep Mm -hmm. pushing it earlier and earlier and earlier when they start selling those jokers i do not allow myself to have any sort of pumpkin spice anything until october one once it hits october we're all go we're good so today today would be your official psl launch day correct i I didn't do that however but normally i don't just i just don't drink anything before that Okay. And I would say my only other one, I'm sure more will come to me as we talk, but the other okay. one that I'm very, very definitive against, I won't listen to Christmas music until the day after Thanksgiving. It's so like, we have a ritual okay. routine now, Antoine and I do, where the day after Thanksgiving, we go cut down our tree, we okay. drink hot chocolate in the car with mm-hmm. us, we come back, we put up the decorations, and we take a picture for our Christmas card. Like, that's kind of all while we're planning and having christmas music playing like crazy okay um but before then no i'm just not going to do it because i'm going to take and be thankful during thanksgiving okay tra la 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 as you say i like it i like it so i um it's it i get it's so overwhelming it's so (laughs) overwhelming to me and i am mostly looking at you hobby lobby (laughs) <laughs> because that's really where a lot of mine comes from. Okay. Oh. So, um, I do, I, I like to get little, just kitschy things at Hobby Lobby, just some fun things. I went in 
okay, because, you know, oh, because we all know I moved. And so we were decorating the house. And so Tate wanted something for her room. And I was looking for shelves for my um, accent wall that I painted. A really pretty navy blue. But um, <laughs> so it, this was this was September, August, September when this was going on. Christmas full. And I was like, I am wearing a tank top and shorts, and I am hotter than bananas and right now. you're not now. in Hawaii. There's a caveat there. <laughs> no, I'm in the middle of the United States of America. The humidity <laughs> is killing me. And you are throwing out buffalo plaid, and you're throwing out wool. I, I literally was going to get hives. I was like, stop, <laughs> stop, stop. Okay? So that, I can't do that. But let me tell you. I have two other things to talk about real quick. The other thing that I cannot do is, now I am all about fashion. Remember that lady who said I had great swag? <laughs> Your she favorite was right. person. Yes. I love it. Like I love fashion. I am all about trying to figure out like the new booties and the new, you know, earrings or whatever. But here's what I'm going to tell you. Oh Just God. because. <laughs> Sorry. I have to interrupt. <laughs> When you say booties, what are you referring to? Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> like ankle boots. Ah. Those are those are booties. I ankle went. Boots. I went a little bit further north, but no, thanks oh, for, for my booty. <laughs> I no, I don't really accentuate my booty very often. Um, but you know, <laughs> ankle booties, ankles. Um, Check. Gotcha. And so the thing is, is that we get, so I'm just taking it from a Midwestern perspective right now, okay. right? Like the four state region, uh, six maybe, region of the Midwest. Even though it might feel 66 degrees in the morning, it's going to get to 90 freaking <laughs> one in the afternoon. Do not put on a scarf. Do not put on a sweater. And let me tell you, do not let me catch you putting on boots that go all the way to your knees with skinny jeans. Oh, that would don't be do so that. Hot. I oh, so know. Hot. Don't do that. And it's also the reverse. My introverted friend is nodding her head right now in complete agreement because <laughs> even though the sun is coming out in April, do not wear a spaghetti strap maxi dress with flip flops. Don't do that because, first of all, it's going to rain. The grass is cold. Don't do – your feet are going to freeze, and it looks ridiculous. <laughs> I do have to say my bro is extremely tough on this rule. He refuses to wear a coat in the wintertime until it snows. Yeah, Once it snows, same. then he has a reason to wear a coat. Until then, he's like – I'm going to wear a t-shirt and I refuse because this isn't cold. <laughs> I really like, I will be very strategic in where I park. I, I, and I actually do not like wearing coats ever. Like, I just don't like it. I, I don't, maybe because my boobs are so big. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like it. So the whole season pushing on clothes, don't do oh, that. That's very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't that's do good. it. And you know what? Because you're going to get real sick and tired of that buffalo plaid shirt that you felt like you had to wear. You're going to still need to wear that in February, ma'am. So don't do that. The other thing is this whole drink situation. It's not just pumpkin, pumpkin spice latte, which was a release in the middle of August. It's so stupid. Are you kidding? That's the dumbest ever. Pumpkins I don't even aren't pumpkins. even grown in August. I know. I was going to say that. I don't even think they're right. I do not. I don't even think that's happening. So you're using last year's pumpkin. That's really gross. Don't do that. I, and you know what? I saw a thing that I could never have agreed with more. And it said, keep, listen, keep your pumpkin spice and give me a freaking margarita. That's exactly how I felt. <laughs> I was like, I don't even want to talk about it right now. Don't do it. But this whole thing where there, I mean, all of a sudden there's all this fall festivity of drinks. Don't do that yet. I totally You're, agree with you. It's too much. It's too, too much. I just, I can't get behind it. And so that's why I feel like there are some things that are super seasonal. You know, let them stay there. The, the tried and the trues, your trulies, 
Those are not going to go out of business. <laughs> they're not going to go out of season. They're if not. you have anything to do with it. They're not. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this weekend, I had a rosé, truly. No way. I did. Yes way, rosé. I did. I, I did not even rose know that truly. they had it. It wow. is a rosé, truly, at the well where our love story began. That's where we were. That's where it happened. Oh, yeah. I know. It, I, maybe they flew them in just for me. I don't know. <laughs> but that's not going to go. Margaritas don't go. So, like, stay, stay, stay with your, your, you know, your necessaries. And then when it's that kind of season, okay. You know what I cannot wait for? I cannot wait for a fire pit and a caramel apple sangria. Oh. Seriously. I'm going to drink them all. <laughs> just, you drink them, I'm going to eat them. But that sounds amazing <laughs> I, right now. Oh, I'm salivating. Caramel apples. Time. I know. <sighs> I know. So that's where I'm at. So I'm curious to tell me, for, for you to tell me, where, how do you celebrate Halloween? Oh, I get decked out. Not so much in the decorations. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Not so much in the decorations. This is honestly one of the things why I'm so excited to have a kid. Because okay. I want our family to dress up in themes. I love it. I'm sure it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, and I'm totally copying off my brother and their family on this. But they've done the Avengers. They're doing the yeah. Adams Family this year. They're, okay. They've done Hunger Games. Like, okay. it's just so cute to yeah. see the entire family dress up. And... Yep. I love Halloween parties. Oh, okay. I love having candy. Nobody wants to come trick or treat, but I have candy. Okay. Okay. But actually, okay. my favorite, 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 favorite part of Halloween is the day after when all the candy is seventy five percent off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look what you did there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now this might come as a huge shock. I don't care for Halloween. <laughs> I know you don't. Not a bit. Not a bit. I don't care for candy. I don't care for dressing up. I don't care for any of it. I really don't. Um, we have some neighbors down the street who have already have carved jack-o'-lanterns. I have passed on the, are you kidding me? That season. is true, too. I and love carving jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> and then roasting the pumpkin seeds. <laughs> are we going to be more opposite on this? No. So one time Tucker was in preschool and, um, we should have known that he was going to have a sharp wit, um, always, but, um, we, um, there was the day after Halloween and no, we had a Halloween party one because it was a traditional pain in my ass that we had to go to <laughs> forever. One of the reasons when I knew I was getting divorced, I was like, guess what? I never have to do again <laughs> that damn thing. But anyways, um, <clears throat> uh, we had, we did that. So it, it's not like I took it away from them or anything, but we just didn't, we didn't do anything else. Like it was just whatever. Uh, his preschool teacher said, what did you do last night for Halloween? He goes, do you want me to tell you what we did? Diddly squat. <laughs> <laughs> so How old was he? He was in pre-K. So oh he was gosh. like five. So his teacher goes, um, mom, I need to ask you just a question. <laughs> and I just, and she also was like, I think he kind of has a small attitude. And I was like, Actually, he doesn't. He's totally fine. That was hilarious because you know what we did do? Did Diddly squat. squat. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, again, I'm going to – I will go – Tate, I took her and her friends trick-or-treating. Totally fine. I don't hate it, but I really could care less about it, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I have – You know, remember I told you last week how many Fs I have to give? Zero. <laughs> That's, a, that's how I feel about it. And again, that's where I would be like, let me have some friends over. Let me fire, fire pit, even the real fire pit. Cause you know, we have a real one too. <laughs> let me have some cocktails. That's trick or treat. I don't, <laughs> that's, that's all I need. That's trick in my treat. <laughs> that is a trick to my treat, ma'am. That is all I care about. The one that gets looked over, yeah. you know, like any marketing thing, you just don't see a lot of marketing around it. Yep. It's Thanksgiving. It's true. Yeah, so tell me, tell me how you feel about Thanksgiving. It's true, I appreciate it. I love it. Um, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to find really one that I don't like. Let's be honest. Okay, okay. Um, but it, it is probably on the lesser scale, just simply because over the course of the last, I don't know, like 15 years of my life, uh-huh. I've never been with my family on Thanksgiving, okay. so it's always become. Um, a friend's giving, which I love just as much. Don't, sure. don't get me wrong yeah. with that. 
Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, it's almost like overshadowed by Christmas. Okay. And okay. it's the most expensive, one of the most expensive times of the year to travel anyway. So then sure. it's like, I'm not going to go travel home for Thanksgiving and turn right around in a couple of weeks and travel home for Christmas. So it's yeah. always kind of the one that's like, just takes the back seat. Okay. Enjoy and celebrate with friends local. Luckily, my friends' families are amazing cooks and they have like a minimum of four meats. Oh, you, I love that. Because <laughs> I don't really care about turkey. I don't care. I know. I don't want to fall asleep right after. And half the time it's super dry. So I need to fry that bird. <laughs> you need to put that bird in the deep fryer <laughs> and inject it with some juice. <laughs> yeah. I like your style. Okay. Oh, how about you? How about you? Um, Let me guess. You could do without it. <laughs> no, actually, I like Thanksgiving. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Um, and I like it. So it's, I my my life has kind of ebbed and flowed with holidays and a lot of like, in the changing, there was a lot of loneliness with it and all of this. But let me tell you, since Thomas Francis Parks has entered my life, so we are getting ready to do our third Thanksgiving together. Um, it has just been, it's been so much fun. I'm going to talk about that. We also do, I've done Friendsgiving for quite a while because that's just kind of where yeah. it's at. So Friendsgiving is always super fun. Just, it's so good. Like, it's just I love it. I really, really love it. But Thanksgiving, our new tradition has been that we go down to the plaza. We have, um, it's the, it's in the middle of our town and it's like Spanish architecture, some high end retail, um, and the whole city comes around it and we have the light. So it's the plaza lighting ceremony on Thanksgiving night. It's a big deal. There's bands and all this it's super family friendly, you know, Tra la la. Um, so we have done that, and that's what we do. So last year that. we had all my kids. We got in a minivan Uber, and um, we Ubered all the way down. We had a sing along, one of the best things that we've ever done. It was so fun. Did the lights, all of that kind of stuff. So I really do like Thanksgiving. I like, um, I love the carbs. I could do without <laughs> the protein. I really love the carbs. Um, Tom has talked about for two years, this stuffing that he makes. And I'm like, I I just, I I didn't trust him. I didn't, I didn't think that he was real. It was really going to be that good. I think I'm not exaggerating, but it was 10 pounds of potatoes and two pounds of butter. That's just mashed potatoes. Where does the stuff no, come into? No, no, no. There was all kinds of, it's a potato based because he's Irish. There, It's a potato based stuffing that he made. Now it made like giganto sure. portions. Um, we don't have my kids this, this Thanksgiving. So we're going to have to narrow that down. But um, <laughs> just a pound. We did, we did like, what was your favorite things? And the kids were like, Tom's stuffing <laughs> was amazing. So um, that man can cook. Like, he doesn't do it a lot. He really likes to be pampered. But when he cooks, <laughs> he can cook. So I like Thanksgiving. I like the I coziness of it. I like. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, okay. So the big one. Christmas. How we, Christmas. Everybody knows yeah. how I feel about Christmas. It is the most epic time of year from the day after Thanksgiving to the new year. We don't stop after Christmas is done. That's just. Oh, okay. You know. Okay. But it's okay. until New Year, and okay. I told you our our uh, our new tradition day after Thanksgiving. So the tree's up. Yep. I got my. I don't have a fireplace in my home, but I have it on my TV. So my Apple TV app, I have turned on, and it's so cozy. Yeah. And yeah. then um, I have lights everywhere, inside and outside. The more the merrier. Also, the okay. day after th- of Christmas also has great sales on Christmas lighting and all decor. Okay. So I do that. Too. I. Okay. Um, I like that. But growing up, it was always one side. Uh, you know, my my dad's parents' side for Christmas Eve, and then it was my mom's parents' side for Christmas Day, and then we had our own okay. thing in the morning. Okay. Um, and ever since then, we've been traveling. So I've okay. always been traveling yeah. home for Christmas. So I've just been there for a week minimum. Okay. To kind yeah. of do our own thing. But now this is going to be my first year that we have it here in Seattle. 
I did not know that. Yes, because is it because Fatso yeah. can't fly? Right. So well, they're I was actually hopefully, wondering how that was going to do. Yeah, hopefully they're going to um, the plan. Your brother is, and everybody, everybody, they're going to come oh, out here. What? And I'm just super, super excited. Probably a little bit after Christmas, but Antoine and I always get up and we have our thing in the morning. Sure. Um, open the presents. Have fun. Eat. Watch Christmas yeah. movies. We stay in our pajamas all day. Yep. You know, yep. things you got to do. Oh, man. That's so great. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. But my mom makes this um, these pull-aparts. We call it, It's monkey bread, but we call them pull-aparts. And mm-hmm. that's like the non-negotiable. We just eat those in the morning for breakfast with maybe a little eggs so we don't all keel over from sugar comas. Right. And then just right. snack the rest of the day. We really don't have a meal meal. We just snack all day, okay. every day. Okay. That's and good. And play games. Right. You guys are the games. That's right. That's yeah. right. Um, so for me, for Christmas, um, I have, again, um, I was in a weird fog, the first one, and then um, I finally found some footing. And so one of the things that um, – I, I detest the most is that I have part time with my kids. Yeah. And so like h- holidays are part time. And, and so then I was always, I, I lived in like this, like the, the, the sand was always draining out of the sand. you right. You know, like the sands in the hourglass, mm-hmm. this is the days of our lives, you know, like the sand was always draining out. And so I figured out a couple of years ago, I'm going to beat this stupid thing. I'm going to beat it. And you know how I'm going to beat it? I'm going to put the tree up before Thanksgiving. Tate and I just take a day and we do it. Because if you think about if we wait till Thanksgiving and we only have till Christmas, I only have two weekends with her. That is not enough. Yeah. And we love the sparkly things. And so we put it up early. It doesn't take away from Thanksgiving. So I am kind of going backwards on what I said. But to really get the most out of it, that That's tree good. is up. Yeah. I mean, it just is. And so, and so think sometimes Christmas music comes in. Sometimes it triggers me and puts me in a bad place. And, you know, nobody wants that. <laughs> um, so I will know like, oh, it's not time yet. Oh, mm-mm. because it just, it, it pierces parts of my heart that are just not healed. Sure. And they may not ever be, but I'm going to be real honest about this. This may not come as a surprise. December 26th to the 27th, there is not a stitch of Christmas left. I'm done. Are you serious? I'm done. I need a clean slate. I need everything to go back to normal. I need all my places the way it's supposed to be for us to start the new year. Oh, yeah, it is. I've got needles after needles falling down everywhere. (laughs) The tree Mm -mm. is, well, it was quite large last year. So the tree... I I can see where you're going with that. It's almost like I just I just refuse. I just I gotta hold through until New Year's. I, I can't, see where I, you're coming from. I'm just like, okay, we're done. <laughs> Wrap it up. Let's go. D- d- we'll deck the halls again next year, but <laughs> right now we are done. And um and it makes me feel very calm. I'm like, whew. so okay, so. Started talking about feelings a little bit, so let's just kind of keep in that uh-huh. that mode. Feelings. So here's the thing I was thinking about. Um, I think that God is very, very purposeful of giving us real seasons, right? Like seasons yes. in the environment, but also we live in seasons as well. Very much. Right? So. Yes. Um, like it talks about in Ecclesiastes, like there is a time and a season, right? Mm-hmm. There's a time to, uh, to plant and a time to harvest. And so what we know is that we are living in one, being ushered into another one continuously. Yes, yes, yes. But I want to ask you, like, where do you feel? Have you ever, like, have you been able to look back and go, I rushed through that season trying to get to the next season? Or is that something that you just know that you do naturally? You're always like getting to the next season or something specific? I would say I do that naturally. Okay. Um, Yeah. But I wouldn't say it's it's an all-inclusive statement because there's some seasons that are obviously maybe 
good seasons or the better yeah. seasons that I'm very content yeah. with staying present in. But the ones that are hard, and I don't think, I think everybody would be in, in this realm, but the hard seasons, you're always looking to like, how can I get out of this? How can I yeah. get through this? How can you help me through this type thing? Um, however, I will just say this one thing on this topic, or just stay in this one lane on this topic, because this current season, I think it's very, very um, prevalent question for me right now, because this current season is not a bad season at all. It's not, it's not filled with struggles. It's not filled with hardships. It's not definitely not the hardest season of my life at all by any stretch right. of imagination. Um, it's just different. And different sometimes causes me uh, to wish things that, that weren't to be because I don't know. Because it's unknown, it's uncomfortable. And I was talking with a friend of mine the other day that's going through something very similar. That being a very passionate person and not having a passion to pursue after is very difficult for me. Mm. And that's where mm-hmm. I'm at. Okay. And But also, I've also in that become very... It's become apparent to me that I do have a passion. It's just in the form of a kid mm. as opposed to something to achieve or something to do. Okay. And so that's helped kind of switch my mind from constantly yearning and wanting something else right now to realizing I do have a passion. It's something that's going to be fulfilled in me that I don't have to long for the next season because... Even though this season's only going to be another four months, like right. that's about to come and it's just going to speed through. And I know that. Yeah. Um, so I want to be content in not needing some other passion to pursue after because yep. the passion is literally inside of me right now. And that's, yeah. that's where I just want to stay. So um, I guess to answer your question is, yes, I definitely have been there mm-hmm. and I am currently there, but trying to realize, maybe look at it. Um, from a different perspective and just saying, I could be longing for something else, but figuring out, I actually know what I'm longing for. It's just not quite here yet. Ah, I love that. Yeah. That's, that's good. Thank you. I like that. Um, so I think that, um, I think by the time we had Tate, like that Tate came into our world, um, I had, um, I, I was able to, to look forward and backwards a little bit better. And one of the things was I didn't rush, um, her growing up. Like I, she brought in a, 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 like a sense for me to just savor things. Mm -hmm. And, um, and to tell you, you know, we just moved, I, I savor a lot and I keep a lot. (laughs) And so (laughs) like every tub I was like, Oh my gosh, this was when they did this and I saved it. And this is when I did this and I saved it. And so there's just some savoring. I don't know if it was this, um, like even like things were going to change so drastically. So just savor, you know, I don't know, but I will tell you, um, something that I, I am struggling with and I've talked about it before, but I am having, um, I, I am still having a hard time. We are on our sixth year of this separation, divorce, single mom, remarriage. Like the, a lot of those things have happened that I, I have a really hard time of not staying in that broken season hmm. of that hard season and, um, of moving out. Like I told you one time, um, Tom was in the car with me and I said something about my husband and I met my ex. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> he loves that. And he, and he was like, which husband? And Tate was there and he goes, she goes, mom, when you say husband now, it's supposed to be Tom. And I was like, I know. I know I got to get better at that. <laughs> oh, <Tate. laughs> um, and so where I feel like it actually is this place of um, just the bitterness of it. It's really hard for me to let go of it. It's really hard because I feel like I earned it. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's not just so like, (laughs) like, no, I deserve to be bitter. And, um, and, and, but that's dangerous. That's where it gets dangerous. No, you're absolutely. So that's where, again, um, 
I'm my own therapist these days in, in my car, but I have thought about that of like, that is something that I'm holding on to in that season to be able to say, if I really walk out of that season, I have to let go of that. Yeah. And I think that's, what's kept me there. So something that I really want to work on and be able to be fully present, like you said, in this season, that's where I feel like it is. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you saying that. Cause it's very, I think a lot of, um, there's a lot of validity to, you deserve it. Like you do like the work that you put in the amount of effort and energy and time and, and all the above that goes into trying to heal and trying to get through. If you put me through this, then at least I can get this out of it. Right. Like there's, there's always. Yeah. That. Right. But right. Yeah. It can be dangerous when you're like, I deserve to be better. <laughs> I know. Like how ugly is that? <laughs> you know, when you really, but there's parts of it to go, Wow. So, so other instance could be, I deserve to be, um, you know, hold that grudge or, you know, be yeah, mad yeah. or, um, and it only hurts you, right? Like when for we do sure. that, it only hurts yeah. you. Yeah. 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 No, I appreciate you sharing that though. Well, so there it is. That, so that again, current it's the realness. Of yes. The that's true. Um, so I, this weekend, let me tell you real quick. Let me tell you something. This weekend, it is going to, here's the real truth of it. We have some lows in the 40s oh. this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So I really and truly might get a pumpkin spice latte this weekend. Okay. You, you can. It's October. I might. So if Tom and I like go for a walk outside um, I'm not going to wear anything cozy. I'm not going to go to those extremes. I'm not. But I might wear a hoodie because it's going to be cold and get a pumpkin spice latte. I hope you do. Just, just saying a it. picture. Just for me. Yeah. Um, something super fun for this season. I really do like this season. Like I feel very much like I started walking again. I start, you know, like there's just yeah. parts of it that just draws me back outside. And for one, the humidity, I can't like, it just, it really does kill my spirit. Like it makes me want to go to Jesus. Um, but, um, we are going to the Northeast at the beginning of uh, November to that and horde state. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, good. <laughs> we are going to New Hampshire. Um, <laughs> I'm sure it's much different there. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you know. I will check their stats. Um, but like for the leaves and a New England fall is supposed to be so pretty. Oh, I bet. Um, yeah. So, you know, like I'm really excited for that. So I'm probably going to be a little extra that weekend where I, I probably Wear will. Wear all your flannel um, and... Yeah, knee high boots. Fuzzies. You know, yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I probably will. So I'm just I'm gonna just say if you follow me on Instagram, beware. That's probably gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, it's it beautiful is. though. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. Okay, so B, like what so we're talking about it. So what are you what are your wins and what are your losses for the week? Yes, I got some legit I've got some legitimate wins and losses this week. Okay. The win is so my uh my mom is in planning mode for baby showers. So because it's back in Indiana, all things are shipped. Okay. It just makes it easier. So yeah. I'm starting to get yeah. like an influx of all these things from oh people. My I gosh. opened up this gift the other day and it, it was really the first time. No, it was the most, uh, magnificent time I think. And how it affected me because oh. I, I, you know, when you get stuff for other people, I love Winnie the Pooh. I'm just going to throw that out there. I love all things okay. Winnie the Pooh. So whenever okay. I get people stuff, I usually get them like a Winnie the Pooh blanket or a Winnie the Pooh. Like, Cause I just think it's the cutest thing in the uh -huh. history of time. Okay. And so I open up this package for my cousin and it's a little Eeyore bath towel with the, the hood, you know, that comes <gasps> and, and I just look, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I didn't know whether to laugh or just start cr like, <laughs> Start crying. Like, what do I do? Because I just, for the first time, then I envision my little oh, man in this little yes. ER outfit. I'm like, oh, it's going to be mine this time. It's not. So anyway, I oh, thought that was just the best. a great win because it really affected me. Like, it really made me smile. I loved it. I laughed. I loved it. Oh, every, every fantastic. And your shower is? 
It is this weekend. Yeah. Uh, first weekend of October. So I will be flying home on Friday okay. to the great land of the Hoosier State. There we go. Okay. Yes. So my loss then, I feel like I am a broken record when I say this. Okay. I My knees legitimately are 80 years old. Mm-hmm. I just twisted my knee again, and I know I tore meniscus in it, um, but it's my good, my quote unquote good one. So, oh, no. uh, little, yeah, I'll say this, but it's not my little did I know. But little okay. did I know that you are. I didn't know that your joints get more elastic when you're pregnant. Everything does. Everything <laughs> gets soft and goes soft. <laughs> okay, everything. I, I know that now. Every. Thing from here to there, girl. When yeah. I say this thing, I felt it's it a- twist, shift, and then I fell on all fours on the ground. I was by myself throwing you a freaking frisbee. You didn't even tell me that. You didn't tell me that because I'm too pissed off about it. And then I thought, <laughs> oh, and then I'm no. like embarrassed. I didn't tell anybody. I'm trying to. This is when I was serving as a lunch lady, so I'm trying to walk <laughs> it off, and I can't. Mm. I can't. Mm. And I'm like, I'm like. Oh no! I'm I'm so humiliated that at 35 I can't even throw a frisbee. Like that's what thought that's going through my mind. <laughs> so, gosh, that's I'm slightly sorry. dramatic, but that's okay. <laughs> it is dramatic. But so you do have a little bit of hormones going on. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, but man. yeah, so I'm still trying to nurse this stupid thing where it's still swollen. I can't straighten it. I can't walk normal. Um, but it will heal. Yeah, it will heal. So yep. that was a loss yep. for me. Big loss. Oh, man. I'm really sorry about that. Um, so my – I'm going to start with the loss. Okay. Um, since we're there, since we're already in our fields, okay, <laughs> I missed my sales goal for my quarter by 5.4%. Oh, but you killed it last one. No. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> It's a quarter. <laughs> so I had a great month. I had two oh, great months oh, and I okay. had one shit tastic month. <laughs> and um yeah. So all of my shit-tastic. hard work tastic. Shit tastic. All of my hard work. I was five point four percent. I missed it. Mm-hmm. I am so sorry. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. frustrating. Yeah. So today starts day one of fourth quarter Q4. So I'm going to have to kill it. Um, but anyways, there that is, but let me tell you something. Okay. Okay. Is this your win? This is my win. Yeah. Thomas Francis and I celebrated our second fancy dress wedding anniversary this weekend. We did. We went to all the places. No, I'm sorry. Our, our our second. Okay. Remember we got married in March. There's too many to count. I get it. I know. So it's our first. Second. It's our first second fancy first. dress. <laughs> right. But it's our second. I, oh, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, we did super fun, but it was a weekend full of festivities. So Tatum and Meyer both turned 14. Tatum Meyer is already 14. Tate turns 14 in October. Mm. We had a best friend birthday party. Fun. Um, on Saturday too. So fun. Avengers theme. So cute. Just I love their little friendship. Oh, yeah. No, Tate is all about Iron Man. Like, she loves Iron Man. Um, And Meyer loves Spider-Man, Tom Holland. Uh, So we had that. We had our anniversary. And then um, a few years ago, uh, one of um, makeup artists that I worked with needed just a small little moment just to kind of catch her breath. And she had gone through a breakup and just needed some time. And we invite her into our house. She stayed almost a whole year, became a part of our family. We love her with our entire souls. She is also having a baby boy. Yeah. And we hosted her baby shower on Sunday. So it was a weekend full of celebrations. Yeah. It was, it was, we had three celebrations this weekend. Yes, and it was, so, yes, we did. <laughs> I, I don't think a lot of people have that many in a weekend, but we did. Um, so it was so great. It was fantastic. <laughs> have you well, ever had three in a weekend? <laughs> I'm going to say yes. But you, not lie. This weekend. <laughs> you lie. You lie. You <laughs> lie. 
Okay, so. <laughs> little did I know. <laughs> Moving on. Which a little did I know for the week. And it's here um, where we shall end. <laughs> little did I know how piss poor my organization was when I moved because I need my marriage certificate, my official one, mm-hmm. and it's packed away somewhere. Why do you ask? Are you asking me why I need that? Why? Thank you for asking me. I have to update my passport because we're going to Europe in December. Are you really? Yeah, we are. Um, We're going to go to Amsterdam, to Belgium, to France, maybe to Germany. I don't really, doesn't matter, whatever. And Italy. Oh, because his daughter's in Belgium. Yes, his daughter's there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. You have a blast. I can't not wait. <laughs> you better Although hurry I, up. Take some off the passports, my dear. Um, I know. I'm like, oh my gosh. So little did I know, I should have been a little bit better on my organization because I have to update my passport with my new name. Oh, that's fantastic. Way Boom. to go. Way to go. That was a soft flex in there too. So I just flexed my trip, but whatever. It's my podcast. I can do it away. <laughs> Don't make a comment about Boss that. Lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. Okay, my little did I know for the week is this. For those of you who know anything about me, I am not a reader. I'm not. Mm. However, I went to go see It too because I love scary movies, really only in the month of October. So (laughs) (laughs) that's also seasonal. Okay. So um, I have a friend that we've been going the last three years. We went to go see It 1. Last year we went okay. to go see Halloween. This year we went to go see It 2. It's just kind of a thing. And then we're going to end with The Joker sometime this month as well. Oh. But on that, I started to think, you know what? I want to start reading some more like story stories. Not just read books that are heavy and you learn yeah. a lot. So you have to read them real slow, right? That gets yeah, so draining yeah. to me. I hate it. I know. So I'm just starting to read like lighthearted stories like Christmas Carol, like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's take a turn. Stephen King's <laughs> Mr. Mercedes is what I'm reading right now. And oh. it is riveting. I love is it. It's scary. It's it's thrilling. It's about a, okay. a murderer, you know, the fun stuff. But it's just thrilling. And I've never okay. said that about reading before. So I'll come home, I'll sit in my little baby glider <gasps> with a cup of coffee, and I'll read me <laughs> a scary book. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, look at you, just momming and maturing all the time. Your things are stretching. <laughs> You're <laughs> reading. <laughs> things are stretching for sure. Wow, B. Okay. Yeah, little did I know how high up these maternity pants really go. I mean, and my boobs me, are meeting my pants. Never gone back down. <laughs> My style has stayed. <laughs> She's so comfortable the first time. You just kept him around. <laughs> um, well, you know what? You are you are stepping into this whole new season. It looks good on you, B. I love it. Thank you, my dear. I love it. Um, well, B, listen, it's always so fun to do this with you. It I it really love is. it. I hope we haven't offended anybody. By we, I mean me. Because um, I can... <laughs> I can get there real quick, but I am Stephanie Parks. If you want to follow me or give her put on blast, one of the two, right? right. <laughs> I'm on Instagram and Facebook, um, but only nice things, please. <laughs> I'm Shauna Zolman Mahaley. You can find me there mostly on Facebook. Sometimes I'm on Instagram, but thank yep. you for joining us for this fun filled episode. It Tis week. the season, Tis right, the season. B? Tis the season, truly. It's October 1st. We are recording this. So yeah. it truly tis the season right now. That is right. All things can happen. That is right. Okay. Well, um, listen, like, rate, review, subscribe, tell your friends, share it all around the world. <laughs> we are here for it. Okay. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye.